So that's basically why I'm about to rule the world. And I was born in Swaziland, in Maban. I don't know like, how to say it properly, guys. Come on. Gachaja. So I was born in Swaziland. My dad is British. My mom is Swazi. I moved back to Johannesburg like literally a year later. So I grew up most of my life in South Africa. I went to a French school. I used to do springboard diving for South Africa, so then that got me traveling around the world, diving for South Africa. So I moved to Canada for a few years. I moved to Canada for three years, and I was like becoming really, really good that the British team wanted me to train with them. So that's why I moved to the UK, was to train for diving in the UK. And then when I got to the UK, I started partying and um, like just being in the underground scenes and I was like nah fuck this life of being a sportswoman I want to really dive into music so I started studying sound engineering in the UK and um, I kind of like lost myself to be honest um, like the UK is really difficult to keep your soul intact like it's a dark place it's all about money um, it's like, it's gray the whole time, it's raining, so no one's happy. People just wanna suck the life out of you. So that's what happened to me, like I completely lost myself. And um, I decided to move back to South Africa in 2012. And that's where I started like becoming colorful again. When I just started like getting into my roots again and figuring out who I am, like who's Kitsiwe? And then I went back to studying sound engineering at the Academy of Sound Engineering in Auckland Park. And from there, I started DJing, like just for money on the side. And my first gig was at Roxy's, like whack. I thought it was whack. I went home. Next day I got a call from YFM and they're like, yo, do you want to be on radio, host your own show, play the music that you were playing that night? We haven't heard anything like that. I was playing like the bass vibe that I do, that I got from the UK. And I was mixing it up with like a bit of Kwaito because you know, like Boom Shaka is also a huge inspiration. And they were like, yo, this is fire. I never heard it before. Like have your own show, do whatever you want. So I was like, okay, fuck it. Like if the universe is presenting me with this, I might as well do it. And then, yeah, that's how Do Up came about. That's Kid Seaway, that's my story. Now I'm out here. So yeah, one of my top five is definitely the internet. The song is Girl. I think it's so soulful. The chick that's holding it down, Sid the Kid, um, she, her vocals are just like insane, dude. She, You can feel what she's feeling through the song. And I love, yeah, I love the vibe. And the producer's Kay Trinada, and he's definitely one of my favorite producers at the moment. So like just the combination of the internet and Kate Renata just made it like a perfect jam. So the name Do Up came about back in high school. Like guys used to be like, yo shorty Do Up. I went to a French school. So a Do Up is like a chocolate caramel muffin. And then I just carried that name on. My hotmail address was shorty Do Up. And then when it came for a DJ name, just Do Up came naturally. And then it actually like Do Up works out. Cause then I started hearing like, um, Lauren Hills, doo-wop, and you know, there's like different doo-wop vibes that are also very hip-hop and 90s, which reflects like my vibe as well. I'm all about the 90s. I'd say like the year 1995 is a super important year for me. Firstly, like the swag that time was hella sick. Music was hella dope. Like I really connected with it because it was a super colorful time and like high-waisted vibes, girls being sexy, but very like masculine at the same time. Um, I think that was a time also when like Boom Shaka were at their peak, Aaliyah was at her peak, TLC was dropping fire, so like I love that vibe. And also in 1995 my sister was born and she was born on my birthday, so that's also like a fucking hectic year, you know what I mean? And just everything that I've been doing, it 
really connects to the 90s vibe and feel of everything. Even when I play music, I like to play old school with that bass undertone, like young remixes by Kate Trinata and stuff. So yeah, I'm like all about the 90s. So the first artist that really made me love hip hop, I'd say is Aaliyah. Like I know she's more on like an R&B tip, but she also brought a lot of hip hop flavor. And then she kind of, by following her vibe, I started learning about a whole lot of different people within that scene. And um, yeah, she was a really powerful woman. So with her, I really started discovering hip hop and understanding the vibe of it and all. So yeah, my show, Basepiration Radio, which you can check out on Mixcloud, Soundcloud, is basically just a whole spectrum of dope, soulful music. Like stuff that I really feel like rattles me inside and makes me think, and it's like a mind travel for me, then I want to share it. As soon as something like really affects me, I, I want to share it. And everyone should do that. You should totally share something that opens you and makes you feel dope. If you feel dope about it, someone else is likely to feel dope about it. Woman empowerment is so important to me right now because like niggas be tripping on these streets, like rape culture is really bad. Um, and it's like not getting any better because it's not being recognized. So like, I just always want to tell queens out there, like own your queendom and you'll run shit because at the end of the day, women are the creators of everything. So, you know, they need to show themselves respect and they're going to get respect themselves. Why are you smiling like that, nigga? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like at the end of the day with my Basepiration radio show, I'm just playing things that touch my soul and for I, I think because it's coming from so much love and truth, when I share it, I feel like it will touch lives and that's what I plan on doing. Like, I don't do it through, like I said earlier, like how radios just play music. That's just what they get paid to do. Like, they're not playing music that is authentic and dope and will change shit. They're just playing shit that we hear all the time because Record labels own radio stations, basically. So these record labels just pay the peeps. And then that's why we hear the same shit on the radio. And that's why it's cool for us now, thank God we have the internet. We don't have to be stuck in that. And we don't have to be stuck in this system that's telling us what to listen to. We can go on SoundCloud, MixCloud, and we can find what, what touches us. Like you don't have to listen to radio anymore. You can just go on and find what your vibe is because you have like access to the whole world. So I was so, talking about woman empowerment, how important it is to me. And Chris, K-R-I-S, I think she's hella sick. She's from Canada. She's like, oh, she's sexy as fuck. And she just raps and um. So like with Basepiration Radio, Originally, I wasn't thinking of money. I know people always say that, like, yeah, right. <laughs> nah, I like, I just needed a platform where I could put music out because I have a lot of music and I want to share it. So I was like, I might as well do a one hour radio show and drop it instead of like always mixes, do it in a way where I can also like dr drop some knowledge as well in between. I don't do it all the time. Like I'll maybe play four songs and then drop a little something, something, then four songs and then say something. So like it's all about the music, but obviously I would like some money to be able to carry on with these dope ideas I have. Like I have so many ideas, but obviously you need funding for it. So it would be cool for Basepiration Radio to get sponsors on board and stuff like that. And I feel like because it's coming from such a natural place, those sponsors will come. And like, I've written it down on my little book. Like, that's what I want. I want sponsors to see my vision and invest in it. And I think it will happen. Like, there's a lot of people watching my movement. So, like, if I keep pushing and I keep at it, there'll definitely be people that are going to want to sponsor. And I can get money to grow it on a bigger platform and like grow myself and yeah. Palagi kami magkasama pero may tiwala na ako sa kanya eh. Lahat na yung bang tao na dumating bago sa kanya, wala na sila. Yeah.